start with um, here is my front and just like we did for our front bodice always start at center and so I'm looking at my chart here my dart placement is three and three eighths so I'm taking my ruler measuring from center front you can follow the curve and make sure that where you marked it is three whatever yours is mine's three and three eighths okay the space between one and one fourth the second dart was five eighths now so those are good this is good now I'm going to check my waist arc plus ease. So I have three and three eighths here. I'm going to shift the three and three eighths down to the other dart leg. And then I'm going to shift from the last dart leg to the side seam. And my side seam is supposed to be waist arc, seven and three eighths plus two eighths, which would be my ease. So seven and five eighths and I'm right on. So everything's good there. Okay. So I checked that, I checked that those are the right size, and then I checked the waist arc. Now notice that I've squared another line here. I measured down from center front three inches, made a mark, put my ruler so that you know the line of the ruler is along center front here, and I squared across at the three inches. So use the center front from the waist down to square. And you're gonna find, because this waistline's curved, you're gonna find the dart closer to the side seam will be a little longer. So don't worry about measuring the length of the dart. Measure from center square out and whatever the lengths are, they're good, okay? All right, now, just like we did the back bodice, we're gonna find the center of our darts. So I'm just going to take my ruler and measure and find the center. So my center's there and my center is right here. Okay, so I know where the center of my darts are. Now I'm gonna draw that to the um, level of the dart. And so I can do it like this, bring the folds together, or I can do an actual measurement. But when I grade you guys, this is how I check you. I check to see that the center is in the same place, okay? Sometimes I measure too, but I spend a lot of time grading you guys, making sure, you know, that you have the right amount. Okay, so I find center, center, so either method works. Draw the center, then draw the legs. Draw the center, draw the legs. Good, okay. Now, you're gonna notice the side seam. Do you see how it looks wobbly? Mm -hmm. Okay, no way am I using that. <laughs> I've got a good waist arc now, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my hip curve, this one, and I'm going to place it. Now, I want the straight part of the ruler to line up somewhat with the straight part below the hip because I don't want to go like and have like a point there. I want it to be a nice smooth transition. So I'm going to place the ruler trying to keep the straight part lined up with the hip arc plus ease and then I'm going to find where it matches my side waist and that's where I'm going to draw it, okay? Because we don't want any corners. So try to find where you can get the prettiest curve and have it transition into the hip so it's not pointy. So I'm thinking right there looks good because that's following the straight. This is meeting both points and I'll draw it in. And do you see the difference between the first one? The second one looks like you would expect, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that is, is done. And now I do the same thing to the back, but the darts in the back are bigger, so they're gonna be longer. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the steps because it's the same thing, but I am gonna say, make sure you have 90 degrees at center back and center front waist, just like we did on the bodices, so 90 degrees, but the back darts are bigger. Measure down five and a half, square across, now I'm going to go through my chart again, and I'm gonna check from center, dart placement, dart size, space between the darts, dart 
size again. I'm going to measure then the whole thing, waist arc plus ease, to make sure it matches my chart. If everything's good, then I'll go ahead and find the center of the darts, draw that parallel to center back, okay? Draw the darts in, redraw the side seam, and then I'm gonna put the two pieces together at the side seam and make sure they're the same. There is something you can do if you feel like, did anyone find their darts were a problem in the back? They all laid okay? Okay, good, well, you guys are lucky because the morning class, it didn't happen. Um, so, the other thing you might want to check the bottom of the waist tape to the bottom of the, uh, not that side, <laughs> I want this side because it's where I draped, right? So measure from the bottom of that to the bottom of this and make sure it's the same. And then you could write that on your chart just as a way of double checking in case you find one of them is longer than the other and you're not sure which one's correct. Just take that measurement from here to here and just call it the side hip length and write it down so that you have something you can double check against, okay? And that way, if you don't get it done today, you have you can look at it at home, okay? So I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna true my, um, my back and then I'll call you guys back over to show you how to pin it together. When you come in next class, or we might do it today if we can get it done, Oh, we're going to pin the darts, pin the side seams. We're going to put it on and see how it hangs, just like we did last class when we pinned the front bodice and the back bodice, and I, we checked how it hung. Remember how we lined them all up, and I told you whether you were good to go? Yeah. Okay. All right.